वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एन बुक ऑफ क्लास 11 एंड वी आर टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन हियर क्वेश्चन इज प्रूव बाय द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन फॉर ऑल एन बिलोंगिंग टू द सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर कैपिटल एन ओके हेयर गिवन मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट इज वन स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर अप टू प्लस एन स्क्वायर दिस इज ग्रेटर देन एन क्यूब बाई Three, so solution is very interesting, and uh, we have already done so many question of this type of uh, pattern in previous videos also. So let us see the solution here. Here, this is mathematical statement which is given here, and mathematical statement is generated by the notation P n. So here P n is one square plus two square plus three square up to n square this is greater than n cube by 3 let us call it relation number 1 okay this is the given mathematical statement and for solving this question we have to take only three steps first step will show that p1 is true means we will put n is equal to 1 here then we will get p1 and we have to show that p1 is true means lhs is greater than rhs when we put n is equal to 1 second step we will assume that pr is true means we will put n is equal to r here and after putting n is equal to r we will assume that lhs is greater than rhs correct and third and last step we have to show that pr plus 1 is true means we will put n is equal to r plus 1 here in the given statement and after putting n is equal to r plus 1 will show that p r plus 1 in lhs is greater than rhs so it will be true and uh, doing all these three steps it will be proved that this statement is true proved okay and at the last we will write one line statement that given uh, statement p n is true for all n by principle of mathematical induction we have already discussed in previous videos what is principle of mathematical induction so you please go through all previous videos so that you would have a good command over this topic this is very interesting and important topic for your board examination as well as your school and competitive examinations also so let us see first step first of all here we have to show that p1 is true to show that p1 is true and how we will get p1 by putting n is equal to 1 here so putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 okay so we will get here p1 by putting n is equal to 1 here total number of terms is n and we are putting n is equal to 1 so we have to take only one term only first term from left hand side so here left hand side will be how much 1 square which is equal to 1 and right hand side will be right hand side is 1 cube by 3 1 cube by 3 that is 1 by 3 so we know that 1 is greater than 1 by 3 okay here 1 is greater than 1 by 3 so that is lhs is greater than rhs so therefore p1 is true therefore p1 is true so this is the first step and second step we will assume assuming that pr is true that is putting n is equal to r in relation number 1 we get put n is equal to r here so we are getting pr here so pr will be left hand side is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to r square in place of n we are putting r here and this is greater than r cube by 3 let us call it relation number 2 and we are assuming isn't it that this statement is true and third and last step you have to show that 
P R plus one is true to show that to show that P R plus one is true. Okay, so putting n is equal to R plus one in relation number one. So we have to prove that that is to prove that here P R plus one is one square plus two square plus three square plus r square plus r plus one whole square. We are putting here n is equal to r plus one. So this is last term and this is second last term. And this is we have to prove that LHS is greater than RHS means r plus one whole cube by three. We have to prove it. Okay. So let us start with left hand side and we will show that LHS will be greater than RHS. So it will be proved. So here LHS is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus r square plus r plus 1 whole square. Okay. But in relation number you 2, in relation number 2 you see up to this many terms, sum of these terms is greater than r cube by 3. So in place of this many terms here can be written that this is greater than r cube by 3. So this is in place of this much we are writing r cube by 3. So this much is greater than r cube by 3. And uh, last term is r plus 1 whole square. Hope you have understood it because up to this sum we are writing this corresponding value. So this much sum is greater than this one. So we are writing this much sum is greater than this one. Okay, that's all. And simplify it further. So LCM will be here three. And this is R cube plus this is R square plus two R plus one, which will be multiplied with the LCM. So this will be three R square plus 6r plus 3 okay and this is equal to this is equal to r cube plus 3r square plus 3r plus 1 and plus of 6r here here we are taking 3r so plus 3r and plus here 3 is there, so we are writing here 2 this much. Just we are writing in this way for getting this result r plus 1 whole cube by 3. So this is equal to this much is r plus 1 whole cube, r plus 1 whole cube by 3 and this part is 3r plus 2 divided by 3. Correct. And you see that here r is a positive number. So 3r is also positive. So 3r plus 2 divided by 3 is a positive number. And if this much has been removed from here, so definitely this much will be greater than r plus 1 whole cube divided by 3. Here you will write the reason that since 3r plus 2 by 3 is a positive number. So we have started with left hand side here and we are showing that left hand side is greater than right hand side. We had to prove this one that we are getting here. So therefore we are proving here that LHS is greater than RHS proved. Okay. So therefore P r plus 1 is true. So that, that's all about our steps that we are supposed to take for solving this question. And at the last one line statement we will write here that therefore by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of mathematical induction, Pn is true. 
P n is true for all n belonging to the set of natural numbers. So, it has been proved here very interesting solution ok. So, hope you have understood it very well and we will see some more problems very interesting and important problems in other videos to come recently. Thank you very much for watching this video. So, keep watching these videos and enjoy learning mathematics. Wish you all the best.